Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Middletown Skate Park on a brisk one, man. It's cold today. I got long johns on. I got two two hoodies, not two hoodies, but two long sleeves on. Uh, I'm bundled. It's, it's chilly. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a cold morning. It's brisk, not the coldest. I've skated in colder for sure. But today's video is basically going to be like my daily session, like just my normal every day. Like oh, I'm going to go skate for an hour or two. Like these are the tricks I do. And the tricks I don't do, I guess you'll see, but we can handle that in another video, like doing tricks I don't do or something like that. I don't know. Cause there's a few in there that like, you'll see the way I skate is a lot of like back and forth, a lot of mirror, like front side, back side, like in a row or, or whatever. And I kind of run through a lot of the basics and then I, I just kind of progress as the day goes on. I feel like skating that way definitely helps me keep like, keep consistent and on top of my game for like, if I have a trip coming up or anything, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm good. I've been skating. I've been doing a lot of tricks. Like I keep the bag pretty, pretty big or i think i do i basically run through my bag of tricks the ones i really like and then after i do kind of my normal everyday things and i if i'm still feeling it then i start getting into like the harder stuff or maybe i'll be like oh, i'm gonna try to film something for instagram or i'm gonna try and relearn this trick or, or learn this trick something like that it all comes later in the day i always start off on flat ground i definitely stretch a little bit and then i go over skating the parking lot because the flat ground in here is dog poop you know what i mean i don't know if youtube you can curse or not but uh, anyone who skates this park will tell you like the best spot to skate flat ground here is in the parking lot i'm gonna head over there and i'll, I'll meet you guys in the parking lot about to get some flat ground cracking usually start off with like real basic shove it's front shove back shove some nolly 180s stuff like that just get the legs moving i honestly i, I like tray flips more than kick flips so i do tray flips before kick flips i feel like kick flips just take so much unnecessary energy for some reason uh, until i'm actually like a little warmed up then i start kick flipping they're, they're more like i gotta jump higher or something to kick flip man i don't I don't really get it. Yeah, so we're gonna get into some flat ground here. Some shoves, some kick flips, and just uh, get the legs going before we head into the park. it's enough to get the legs going. I think that's pretty much everything I usually do when I get to the park before I get in there and skate. One thing I realized trying to film this is that I usually skate the whole length of this parking lot and just do tricks like wherever. And for this, it was the camera was here. So I had to do them all right here, which made it kind of weird and just a little bit awkward for me personally to like, I don't know, have to do them right there because I couldn't skate my normal like routine. I had to figure out a different way. And I couldn't put the camera in the middle of the parking lot because people like drive by, you know? But um, yeah, we'll head into the park and we'll start skating the ledge. That's usually where I start. See you in there. So same thing kind of, I like have, was having trouble figuring out where to put the camera. I tried to put the camera in a spot where I could see, hopefully you guys could see everything. So I can kind of just skate normally, keep the camera running and then uh, just chop it up from there for the video. It's, it's tricks that I like to do. These are literally like my everyday go-tos, no matter what, these are the tricks I'm gonna do on the sesh. Whether I'm like really feeling it or not really feeling it, these tricks usually get done on the sesh. And then it's after these ones where I start to progress to harder tricks, I guess you would say. Or like relearning or learning or or just doing something I haven't done in a while, stuff like that. So yeah, we'll get into it. I'll stop along the way if I have anything else to BS about. All right, let's get it. So first things first, especially with this ledge, wax.
So you might notice too, like some, some tricks are missing from this back and forth, you know, like five O's or regular front crook. I know I went straight to Nolly front crook, but I'm telling you, like this is just the way I skate every day. I'd rather front crook something tall. The sledge isn't that tall, so I just Nolly front crook instead. It just feels more comfortable. A lot of things are just personal preference, but I'm sweating and I'm gonna lose the hoodie. I had to run that line back that split in that first. Switch 5 180 was kind of busted. I mean, even the second one wasn't the best, but sometimes if I feel like, oh, I should probably do that again, I do. Some things I let myself slide, but but yeah, I had, I had, to, I had to do that. Again. I like to do that line with the cable front crook, come back, cable front, or uh, cable back nose grind. Cable back nose grind, I did weird twice. The cable front crook was fine. So now I'll just like swap the first trick, move on kinda, but keep at that cable nose grind to get a good one. I had to be completely honest with y'all, that was not my uh, favorite kick of nose grind, but we're gonna move on. kind of the point where tricks start to get a little bit more difficult. I start to go to like switch foot back tails, uh, big swim back tails, stuff like that. I don't really kick foot back tail this thing that much. Just because uh, some people might not think it's low, but there's certain tricks I'd rather pop up into and cable back tail is one of them. So I usually just big spin back tail here. I don't cable back tail, but uh, I do switch foot back tail this. So move on to that section. With the what was it, the Nolly back when he nose grind and the Nolly back when he nose grind, the Nolly crook, Nolly heel. Uh, I kind of those tricks kept going back and forth. I didn't like one and I liked the other one, did so I just ended up doing that whole line again. Only took a couple tries, so it was no luck. You're gonna see a lot of tricks in here that I'm not doing, like switch front tails, switch like just kind of normal stuff, but it's kind of how the park's set up and how it works for me to skate. And I always start on the ledge too, like I always start on the ledge and kind of work my way into the park. Yeah, we're gonna continue on the ledge because I got a few more tricks that I usually do every day and then we'll, we'll, we'll move on and see what else goes. Try to get this, not like he'll front crook, not like he'll back crook. I'm not gonna do the Nolly Hill front crook because I don't feel like it. I do one of everything. If it's not clean, I'll do it again. But yeah, I don't know why Nolly back heel crook is usually the easier one for me. We'll we'll keep it the Nolly Hill back crook or switch up the first trick, try to get something else going. And this is kind of the point where it starts to branch off into like whatever I kind of feel like doing at the time. I kind of did my dailies already, as far as I can think. I can't think of anything else that I usually do every day that I haven't done yet. I kind of start to like dig a little deeper, go a little further into the bag at this point. I'm kind of just a whatever comes to mind. So that's what we're gonna do. Keep out this Nolly Hill Crook, switch up the first trick, not sure what yet. We'll work from there. I don't like to do cable back tails, but I like to do cable front tails here. I missed the crook. We got no slide for free. Oh. 
okay at this point i'm kind of over skating the ledge i mean i could go into like harder shit or relearning or whatever but that's not for this video we're just gonna move on i'm just gonna skate around the park kind of get some other clips you guys are probably sick of staring at the ledge i'm kind of over skating it so let's get a few random clips around the park if you got something else to watch all right back nose blunt on this bump to bench but the the bench is kind of wet it's got like i don't know like mildew or something on it but we'll see terrible ride up try again oh I think any other time i would have stuck right there i did not think i was landing that at all and i think the wetness on top of the ledge actually let me slide it i'm gonna do one more first tee though Oh, that was bad. All right, I think that kind of wraps up the vid, man. If you guys like it, this is like my everyday sesh, especially in the morning time. Usually at night, there's like some homies here. We kind of kick it, hang out, BS a little bit, skate a bunch, but like, it's just the morning sesh, man. No one's here, kind of do whatever you want. But this is what I do every day. I got a window from about 9.30, 10 o'clock to around 11.50 where I can skate before I gotta go pick up my son at school. And then I can't skate again till later. So I usually go either a morning sesh or an evening sesh around 5 p.m. Or I'll, sometimes I'll do both. And then the weekends are kinda to go somewhere else, street skate or just go out with the homies somewhere else and skate. Okay, this is the tricks I do every day, no matter what, pretty much. We'll do another video. If you guys wanna see another video where I kinda go through all the tricks I didn't do. I usually skate the ledge every day, if you didn't already notice that. And then I, I do skate the park afterwards, but that's like my everyday to stay consistent in what I do, to stay on top of my game. I feel like that's the best thing. I, I, I'm getting kickflips going, I'm flicking fast, popping. So it kinda keeps me like ready for whatevs, I feel like, just to skate the ledge and be that consistent. Like the video, tell your friends that I'm YouTubing, man. I don't know. I, I don't really do this that much, but I figured if I had the free time, I might as well do it, you know? People always ask me to, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start making some videos. If you guys have any ideas, anything you wanna see from me, leave a comment below. We'll try and make it happen. I know a lot of you guys already put in uh, trick suggestions for the next uh, Unlock series. So I gotta go through those and pick out which one I wanna do. If you guys have any other questions, you ever wanna talk to me, you ever wanna, you know, reach out or get like a little more one-on-one-ish, uh, I live stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday around 9.30 p.m. So I'll put the link to that in the description. And you guys can follow me on Twitch. And come hang out while we're live. We watch skate videos, play video games. We just bullshit, talk skate, you know, whatever, whatever. We just, ha we literally, it's a place that we could just hang out in and uh, communicate and it's cool man we got a bunch of people in there join up on the discord i'll put that link in the in the description below as well and other than that man i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video hopefully guys thanks for watching again like subscribe all that stuff and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace out